Hey, we're here at the Heart Walk over at Vassar College, and I'm with Dan O'Day from Vassar Hospital and the Heart Center, and uh, you're the chief of cardiology over there. And I, I want to talk about this item that came out in the news a couple weeks ago about cholesterol and the food that we uh, take. Now, so it's not so much dependent on the food that people eat? That's correct, Mark. We've known this for a little while, and it takes the government a little bit of time to get it out <laughs> to the people. Genetics are more important than your diet. Not that your diet isn't important at all. Uh, you don't want to really go crazy with it. Right. But anybody that's eating kind of a normal diet and is mixing it up and getting their greens and getting their vegetables, they don't really need to go crazy more than that. You can only drop your cholesterol by a few points doing that. You can't really lower a person's cholesterol too much if they went on almost like a totally fat-free diet. Right. It, it, you would have to be extremely, extremely strict. There's something out there called the Pritikin diet. Right. If you were to follow that, which is almost impossible to follow, if you were to follow that, you can significantly lower your cholesterol levels. But for the most of us who have to go out to eat for business and have to live their lives and, and go do things, it's very difficult to do that. So my suggestion is mix it up, get your greens, get your vegetables. It's okay to have meat now and then. It's okay to have eggs now and then. Right, right. Any bad fats that, that really do stick in the arteries, or is that all the same type of thing determined by uh, genetics more than anything else. Well, there's a couple of them that can really be bad for you, and that's uh, the exotic stuff. Uh, if you have like like palm oil or coconut oil or something like that, those are a little bit more sticky. Oh. But, but uh, you know, if you just use your basic uh, uh, stuff you get at the supermarket, the unsaturated fatty acids, um, if you use olive oil, it's probably the best one, but it does have a taste to it. Right, so right. you can't use that for baking. So uh, if you just use your canola or something like that, you know, that you get over the counter, sunflower oil is okay, anything like that. Now the one other thing, and I don't, we didn't talk about this before we came on camera, but there was another thing that came out recently about high intensity exercise, short bursts of high intensity exercise. I'll tell you basically what it said is, if you get on a treadmill or if you get on a bicycle and you warm up for two minutes and then you go really hard for a minute, Go back down to another two minutes of slow, another burst of a minute of really high intensity exercise. That's almost as good as, as going out and jogging for a half hour or running or walking for an hour. Is that true? And what, what does that do? It's true. What you're talking about is interval training. And right. If you go on any treadmill anywhere that's one of the programs on it is interval training. You go fast, you go slow, you go fast, you go slow. It's actually very good for you, but what that's really telling you is, is that any exercise, okay. any exercise is good. So if you do interval training, if you walk, if you run, it doesn't really matter. Um, it just matters that you get out, you get your heart rate up, and you move. Okay. But well, weight, uh, uh, weightlifting would not come into play here. That's correct. That's not aerobic exercise. Okay. That's more muscle building, muscle. It's anaerobic exercise. You build up lactic acid when you lift weights. Um, what you want is aerobic, where you're using the oxygen and you get things okay. going. Okay. Well, there you go. Dan O'Day from Vassar Hospital and uh, president of the Heart Center, and also. Uh, here at the Heart Walk today, you're on the board with the Heart Association. I'm the chairman of the Heart Walk this year. Very proud to be here and very proud of all these people that came out on a pretty lousy day to support us. Great turnout. Thank you, Dan. You're welcome, buddy.